is our planet. It's our home. Five point five billion people live here. Everyone has a different story. Nothing ever becomes real till it is experienced. Experience is not what happens to a man. It is what a man does with what happens to him. Have you ever traveled by cruise ship? Gotten a severe accident? Ridden a motorcycle? Climb a tree? Made a presentation? Walked in the dark. Let's talk about experiences. Hello student, how are you today? Let's start now on unit four, interesting lives. Okay, and we are now on lesson A to talk about experiences on the present perfect. I hope you enjoy the video about experiences and now let's start, okay? So here we have a part A and the title is, have you ever been on TV? Vocabulary experiences. Complete the phrases with the correct words, then listen and check your answers. All right, so we are here and we have these different words and there must be here to complete correctly according to the picture, obviously. Okay, let's listen. Unit four. Unit four. Interesting lives. Lesson A. Have you ever been on TV? Page 34. Exercise 1. Vocabulary. Experiences. 1. Act in a play. 2. Be on TV. 3. Break a bone. 4. Get seasick. 5. Lose your phone. Six. Meet a famous person. Seven. Move to a new city.
Eight. Win an award. All right. So that's it. And let's check it out the answers. Here we have the answers. Yes. All right. So number one is act in a play, be on TV, break a bone, get zizik, lose your phone, meet a famous person, move to a new city, and win an award. Right? Here we have all these correct alternatives. Now let's continue with the next part because time is money. On part two, we have the language in context, a local hero. Now look at look at her, right? And is it read Brian's group messages with some friends? Why is Brian excited? All right. Now let's listen again. Page 34, exercise two, language in context. A local hero. Brian, you'll never believe what happened. I'm going to be on the TV news tonight. My first time. Jill, you're kidding. Why? Brian, it's a surprise. You have to watch. Have you ever been on TV? Jill, no, I haven't. One of my friends is an actress, though, and I've seen her on TV a couple of times. Hideo, I've never been on TV, but my sister Kumiko has been on TV lots of times. She's a TV reporter. All right. So it was an interesting story about people who are on TV or appear on TV. And what about you? Would you like to be on TV? Why or why not? We're going to discuss this question in our class, right? Now let's go to the next part. And here we have the important thing, the present perfect. Well, you know the present perfect. This is just a review only. Remember this. Use the present perfect to describe events or experiences that happened at an unspecified time in the past. Use have or has and the past participle of the verb. Example. Have you ever seen a friend on TV? Yes, I have. Or no, I haven't. Has your sister ever been on TV? Yes, she has, or no, she hasn't. Use frequency expressions with the present perfect to give more information, right? For example, I've never been on TV. My sister has been on TV lots of time, okay? So remember, in this case, we are using the present perfect, okay, to describe events or experiences that happen and and an unspecified time in the past. That means an indefinite time in the past. All right. So here we have some examples. Remember that we have to use have or has according to the subject. And we have to use the past participles. All right. Of the verbs. For regular verbs, the past participle is exactly the same as the simple past. For irregular verbs, you must check the the list on page 151. Now, let's practice with this, okay? Complete the conversation with the present perfect forms of the verse and practice. For example, number one. So, this is a question. For you, we use obviously have, right? Have you ever, the past participle of be is being. So, have you ever been to another country? Short answer, yes, I have. I've been to Brazil, all right? And then you can continue with this. We're going to solve this on our online class. But let's start by checking it out very quickly. As you see, everything starts with have, with the principal verb in past participle, okay? Right. Okay, now we are going to do this on our class, right? No problem. Let's continue. Let's continue with this. Now, let's listen to these regular past participles and irregular past participles, okay? Let's listen. Regular past participles. Act. Acted. Chat. Chatted. Try. Tried. Irregular past participles. Be, been, break, 
broken. Do, done. Eat, eaten. Go, gone. Have, had. Lose, lost. Meet, met. See, seen. Win, won. Turn to page 151 for a list of more past participles. Okay, that was it. And now let's continue, right? Uh, here we have a speaking section. And it says, yes, I have. Complete the question with your own ideas and check the things you've done. Write down how often you've done it, all right? So, for example, have you ever eaten, I don't know, have you ever eaten a kui? Have you ever been to Cusco? Have you ever seen, etc.? All right, so you have to do the question here and answer them, right? And check it out with a person who has done it or who hasn't done it, okay? Now, let's go to the next part, please. Part B. What I mean is... What I mean is, okay, uh, in other words, is well, I am trying to say this, okay? What I mean is, I am trying to say this. Interactions, checking and clarifying meaning, right? How often do you eat out? Do you ever cook at home? Do you ever order take out? Okay, so now let's listen to the conversation, right? And then we are going to discuss this. Listen, please. Lesson B. What I mean is... Page 36. Exercise 1. Interactions. Checking and clarifying meaning. Part B. I'm getting hungry. Me too. Hey, Sam. There's a great Mexican restaurant near the school. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't. Actually... I don't eat in restaurants. Really? Are you saying you never go to restaurants? Well, no, not never. I mean, I just don't eat out very often. Why not? I'm allergic to certain foods, like peanuts. If I eat them, my skin gets red and itchy. That sounds awful. It is. Okay, so, well, this is a very interesting dialogue, okay? And, see. Someone is getting hungry, all right? And there says, I mean, I just don't eat out very often, right? I am trying to say that is I mean, okay? All right, now, checking the meaning and clarifying the meaning. Here we have, right, a couple of expressions. Do you mean, does that mean, that is, so you want to say this or you want to say that, okay? For clarifying the meaning is, what I mean is, what I'm trying to say is, all right, what I'm saying is, etc. So you want to check the meaning, if you want to, okay, if you want to be sure about what you understood, you can ask this. Do you mean this or does that mean that? And if you want to clarify something that you are saying, you can say, well, what I mean is or what I'm saying is, all right? Now, you got to number the sentence in the conversation from one to seven and practice with a partner. So we have number one, I feel a little hangry. And then you can continue to number through, through, et cetera, et cetera, until number seven. All right, until number seven. Now we are gonna complete that in our class. And then we have this part, okay? In this part, we have a pronunciation and it's contrastive stressing responses. Now listen and repeat. Notice how the stress words emphasize contrast. Let's listen, okay? Page 37, exercise two, pronunciation. Contrastive stress in responses. Are you saying you never go to restaurants? Well, not never. I mean, I just don't eat out very often. All right. So I hope you, you notice the stress for emphasizing, okay? And now let's go to the next part, part number three, listening, why not? 
and it says, listen to four conversations about habits and preferences. Correct the false information. For example, number one, it says Daniel often, and the real information is Daniel never goes to hair salons. Okay, so listen, and you have to, okay, correct the false information. And on part B, okay, it says, how do the people explain their habits and preferences? Check the correct answers. You have to check the correct answers, all right? Let's listen to it. Lesson B. What I mean is... Page 37. Exercise 3. Listening. Why not? 1. Hi, Danielle. How are things? Great. You? Very good. Hey, can you recommend a hair salon for me? I need to get a haircut. And I'm not very happy with my current salon. Do you know one that's not too expensive? Actually, I really don't know. I never go to hair salons. Do you mean you never get a haircut in a salon? That's right. What do you do? Do you cut your own hair? No. My hair doesn't look that bad, does it? No. No, I just mean, why don't you go to a salon? My sister cuts it for me. She's very good, don't you think? Yes, definitely. Two. Hey, Todd. Where are you going? Swimming. Oh. Are you going to the beach? No, I hate going to the beach. You're kidding. Are you saying you never go? Don't you like to swim? Well, I like to go to the city swimming pool, just not the beach. Why not? The beach can be a lot of fun. It's just difficult for me to get to, you know? I have to walk to the subway, take that, then take a bus, and then walk again. I see what you mean. Three. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Randy. Where are you going? To work. Oh, do you want a ride? No, thanks. I always walk to work. You mean you never drive? Well, I sometimes drive if it's raining. What I mean is I prefer to walk. Why? I like the exercise. I see. Well, enjoy your walk. Thanks. See you around. Four. Oh, look, Mitch. That new thriller is playing at the theater across town tonight. Do you want to go? I'm dying to see it. Oh, thanks. But I never go to movie theaters. What? Do you mean you don't like movies? No, not at all. I love movies. I mean, I just don't see them in the theater. Why not? Is it the ticket prices? They've gotten pretty expensive. No, I just like to stream movies at home more. It's nice to sit at home and watch them. You can pause the movie, rewind it, watch the extras, watch it again. I see what you mean. But it's not the same experience as in a theater. I guess. All right. Now you can listen again and again as many times as you want and try to, okay, check the correct information here. All right? So, finally we have an, a speaking part and it says unusual habits. Okay, write four statements about any unusual or interesting habits and behaviors you have and use the questions to help you or think of your own ideas. For example, is it a food you eat all the time? Is it a place you never go? Is there someone you talk to every day? Is there something you never do? Is it an expression you say all the time? All right, so we are going to discuss these questions in our class, okay? For example, I eat chocolate all the time. 
Does that mean you eat it every day? Well, no, not every day. I mean, I have chocolate several times a week, all right? So uh, we can use expressions to check the meaning and clarify the meaning. Okay, what else do we have here? Yes, that's it, I think. All right, now, this is a, a topic of conversation of the next class, so we're finishing this part. Don't forget to go to your workbook, okay? And do these pages, okay? Page number 25, 26, 27, 28, okay? Yes, 28, until page number 28. All right, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video. And see you on class. Bye-bye.